Hello Legends, today we're going to be unboxing two Mystery Funko Pops from HMV. Hello Legends, it is your boy Link and today we have two Mystery Pops for £10 from HMV, which is Home Music Video, I think. It's a shop in the UK with like purple logo and it's like a little dog with a record player. But anyway, they sell all sorts of like mainly music and DVDs, but they do have like a lot of geeky merch and stuff. And I was in there the other day and they had two mystery Funko Pops for £10. In the UK, Funko Pops sort of recommend the retail is from like 10 to £15. So two for a tenner is brilliant. However, I do have like 200 Funko Pops already, so we could get something we already have. You have no idea. It does say different coloured boxes of different coloured content. So if we enjoy this, maybe we'll go back and buy the blue box. Or I think there was a purpley box. Um, I don't have a knife to cut the box with again. This happened recently and we used a hair, a comb. Um, I'm going to break this comb one of these days. There you go. Right, we're in. I've ripped the box. I was trying to do it all neat and tidy as well. What have I done? Hopefully the pictures I took for the thumbnail before I filmed this are okay, because otherwise I'm in a problem. Right, do I show, I'm gonna show myself first, and then I'll show you the one I like the least. I might not like either of them. Are you ready? I'll open this way so you can see my reaction. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Ugh. You guys might like them, so let's have a look anyway. From the Marvel film Birds of Prey, we have Roman Sionis. He's got a suit on. It's in cool detail. ASB. Don't know what that is. I'm not seeing Birds of Prey, and I don't really intend to watch it. One of the Harley Quinns could have been kind of cool, but the pop is actually in immaculate condition. I want to mention that because you all know I'm, I'm a bit of a, a box um, preservist. Also, if you hear any weird noises, they're doing some building next door. So if you hear weird like drilling or banging, I'm not doing anything weird, I promise. Um, but yeah, it's a cool pop. Let's get him out because I don't really care. Oh, nice little detail. Speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil. I don't know if that'll focus. But that's a cool little touch. I like it when they do stuff on the, the flaps. It just brings it to another dimension. And it's also cool how it's got this um, like reflective stuff in the back. That's a cool detail. Um, pop that down. Pop that flat. So that's the pop inside. I'd say he's cool, he's got a white suit on. Probably something that people would use for customs, I guess. But he's just not my thing. Does he stand up? Yep, he passed the, the stand test. Which so many Funko Pops don't. So he stands pretty well, he's a little bit... He's a little bit wobbly. Let's try him on the desk, where it's a bit flatter. He's still got a little bit of wobble. But he does stand. Who's next? Borderlands 3 Lilith. I don't like Borderlands 3. Um, I gave some Borderlands pops to my brother Bobby, which is band proof on YouTube. Check him out if you're interested. Um, I guess he gave him some Borderlands pops in a recent video that he unboxed. Um, but yeah, I don't know if he's got Lilith, if he hasn't, and he wants it, he has now. Um, but let's get her out. It's a cool pop, to be fair. So it's one of the ones that comes with a base, and I do like that. I wish more pops did come with bases, even if they didn't need them. Um, 
just I just find it a bit nicer just to to know it's stable. So it's got some cool detail. Don't ask me what sort of stuff she's holding or doing. She's got a blue like tattoo sleeve, some cool detail. And yeah, just the whole thing really well detailed as Funko often is. And she's a cool looking pop and Lilith is a cool badass name. But it's not a pop I would have bought. On the whole, I've wasted £10. I didn't like either of them pops, but it's always fun to do a mystery box and you never know what you're going to get. You could get something absolutely awesome. I could have got the, the Steve Owen with a turtle, which is at the moment probably top of my Funko Pop wish list. Um, but I didn't. I got shit all over, basically, by HMV. So... Let me know if you've tried these HMV boxes and let me know what you pulled. Did you get anything actually decent from them? Or am I just sort of barking up the wrong tree with our mystery boxes? Also, let me know what your favourite mystery boxes with Funko Pops in are. I love mystery boxes. I've got a teeny bit obsessed on the channel recently with mystery stuff, as you probably will see. Um, we've done the Muppets Lego, which I'm doing a competition for. So at this point, it's not too late to enter to try and win some Muppets minifigures because I've got loads of doubles across two videos. Um, and I've done a couple of wrestling mystery t-shirt boxes recently. So yeah, I'm quite in the mystery boxes right now. So if you have a mystery box you guys suggest, hit me up. Let me know in the comments down below. You obviously like it because you're still watching. So give the video a thumbs up right now. And obviously subscribe because you don't want to miss my exciting videos where... Hopefully we get something that isn't rubbish. All there's left to say is that I've been Link and you, yes you, have been one of my legends. Thank you so much for watching me today. I will see you real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.